evaluate the double integral over the region R of E raised to the x squared plus y squared dA, where R is the region between x equals 0 and y equals 4 minus, y equals the square root of 4 minus x squared. Well, this region of integration Well, if I think about it, this is a semicircle of radius 2. Top half of a circle, that is. And x equals 0 is the y-axis, so I'm really just integrating over this half circle. Well, my bounds for integration, if I was going to think rectangularly, right, would be from 0 to this. But then I look at this, and that's not an integral I want to mess with with respect to x or with respect to y first. So I'm thinking we're going to make this a polar integral for two reasons. First up, I know that x squared plus y squared is simply r squared. dA is r dr d theta, and that solves some problems for me. I now see an integration technique. Plus the bounds are really easy to find. I start in the region at r equals zero, and then I'm always leaving on that ray increasing from the origin through the circle. Well, the polar equation of a circle of radius 2 centered at the origin is r equals, well, 2. So 0 to 2. And then I start at angle 0, and I rotate until I get to angle pi. Well, this is a very nice integral to deal with. Thinking about dr and d theta, those are constants. I could actually pretend this was a rectangle. Or I could use Fubini in its first form to swap the order of integration so that I go from 0 to 2 and then 0 to pi of r e to the r squared d theta dr. Fubini's theorem doesn't care that I started off thinking about things in polar coordinates. It just sees dr and d theta bounded by constants. All right, so I evaluate that. No, that's just theta times all that stuff. Evaluate from 0 to pi. So I do that, all that integration, I get pi r e to the r squared dr. And now all I have is a substitution problem to work. Factor that pi out front. Find my new bounds, those were bounds on R, so I use my formula here to make them bounds on what I'm calling U. Oh, I made a mistake somewhere in here, let's see. I need to divide that by 2R, not just 2, so let's write that down like that. Those R's cancel off, I need to factor out that too. Very simple antiderivative at this point. So I get pi halves, and then e to the fourth minus one. And there is my double integral of e to the x squared plus y squared over that semicircle. Pi halves times e to the, e to the fourth minus one.